वेलकम टू सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ सिंपलेस्ट मेथड प्रॉब्लम थ्री वे आर डूइंग प्रॉब्लम थ्री इन सिंप्लेक्स प्रोसीजर इट इज ए मिनिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम वी हैव फिनिश्ड अप टू हियर एट द एंड ऑफ द सिंप्लेक्स टेबल वन वी हैव फिनिश्ड द सिंप्लेक्स टेबल वन वी आर नाउ रेडी टू एंटर इन द सिंप्लेक्स टेबल टू वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड वाइडली एंटर्स मिनिमम रेशियो and y6 leaves and total element we have obtained all these so therefore we now we can enter into the simplex table 2 so that is the simplex table 2 i have found here in which uh, i i recollect which are the points we have to write first enter into the first of the simplex table 2 which is very important that uh, what are the changes are made in the yd yb that is basis matrix that is called basis matrix yb so in yb what are the changes y3 enters y6 leaves so where is y6 third position so therefore you write off first of all in the instead of y6 you replace y3 enter uh, enter y3 and leave y6 therefore y4 y5 as it is y4 y5 as it is so therefore i am writing the cast here 1 minus 1 3 0 0 0 3 r y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 these are the respective vectors six vectors are there so here all we have to do the row operations and so i am writing r1 dash r2 dash r3 dash these are the respective rows in the second simplex table The corresponding cast I write first. Y4 cast zero, Y5 zero, Y3 is three. Okay, right? So now I do faster, little bit fast and just uh, I indicate the values. I note the values here so that uh, uh, we can finish off. After simplex table two, now what we are doing? Which particular row enters first there? Here it is. Total element is in R3. Therefore. You have to go and do the operation for R3 dash. So I am writing here R3 dash. R3 dash is nothing but R3 divided by divide the element itself. That is three. R3 divided by three. This is what the first operation. I write the operation somewhere here. You write after simplex table two. R3 dash is R3 by three. R3 by three. So divide it into three. 0 by 3 it is 0 do not change 2 by 3 it is minus 2 by 3 it is 1 0 it is 0 it is 1 by 3 now hope you can observe that whichever y6 leaves from the basis the values are changing 1 by 3 here it is unit matrix it is at the basis 0 0 1 now the values of y6 are changing And values of y4, y3, yeah, y3 are converted as in terms of y6. That is what the change we are doing. That is the reason why 0, 0, 1. You have to change y6 as now y3 here in this particular next simplex table. Now it is to be converted as 0, 0, 1. So that is the logic. Nothing else behind it. Oh, actually, y6 is 0, 0, 1. Now we are changing. Y3 enters in the place of Y6. Therefore, Y3 must be 0, 0, 1 now. Y3 is to be changed as 0, 0, 1. That is the concept. I am explaining the concept, right? So now the next operation is you can consider R1 dash. R1 dash means what you have to do. I explained very clearly number of times the row operations. R1 dash means you have to consider plus R1. Here it is the R1 dash here. In the previous simplex table it is R1. That's all. You have to do plus R1. Always plus R1. R1 dash to be obtained from R1 plus R1. You should not do minus R1. That's all. You should not do any particular operation for that. Now you have to what you have to multiply for R1 dash, R3 dash, which is entered first. You see this is R3 dash. R3 dash entered first. So therefore, whatever the operations we have to do for R3 dash, whether you want to multiply with any kind of element, you have to multiply and divide what whatever it is you have to do for R3 dash only. That is very very important. 
the relevant operations. Now, in R1 dash, what is the element you have to convert as 0? It is 1, that is in R1. In R1, 1 should be converted as 0, which is to be appeared in R1 dash. So, therefore, 1 is to be converted as 0. So, therefore, you have to multiply with minus 1. That is what the operation here. So, now, I write the operation for R3 dash as well. So, R3, R2 dash. R2 dash as well. R2 dash. Again, you say, you give the formula. What you have to do first? Plus R2. So, here you see, it is plus R2. And what you have to do the operation for? R3 dash. Whatever the operations are to be, done, are to be done for, are to be uh, calculated for R3 dash only. So R3 dash, here the, what is the element in R2 dash, that it means R2, it is minus 1. So you have to multiply with plus 1, that is uh, as it is, 1 into, you need not do 1, but they have, just I have indicated to uh, remember the operation, to identify the operation, that's all. So, if you add R3 dash plus R2, you will get the respective operation. So, therefore, now just I am indicating the values here and so that we can find out. Minus 1 into R3 dash. R3 dash is 0. And minus 1 multiplied by 2 by 3. Minus 1 multiplied by, it is again minus 2 by 3. Minus 1 multiplied by 0. Minus 1 multiplied by 0. Minus 1 multiplied by, it is 1 by 3. These are the elements of minus R, R3 dash. R3 dash into minus 1. Plus R1. What is R1? Starts from 10. 10. Don't forget XB. That is also one of the important point. Don't forget XB. 10. Plus 1. Plus 1. Again plus 1. Again plus 1. There are 4 ones and plus 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, total 7 observations I got only and this is 1 and 0 and 0 minus 1 into 1 by 3, it was mistakenly taken you see here 0, 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 and 1, 0, 0 and 1 by 3, so therefore it is plus 0, plus 0, right, now it is okay. This is what the uh, row operation for R2 dash, R1 dash. Now for R2 dash, R2 dash minus 1, plus 1 into R3 dash. Here it is 0, so therefore I am not writing any 1. 0, 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 1, 0, 0, 1 by 3. This is what, these are the elements here, plus R2, plus R2. R2 is this, 2, plus 2, and plus 0 minus 1, that is plus minus 1, that's 0, plus 0, plus uh, 1, plus, it is, uh, last element is 0. So, these are the elements here, the operations here, just I am writing the values over here, just uh, I specify, just I write the values here, I don't want to calculate, uh, just uh, I take the values here. What are the values here? It is 10, you calculate the values, 1 by 3, 5 by 3, it's 0, 1, 0, and minus 1 by 3. These are the values here, please you calculate, it is very simple. And then it is 2, 0 plus 2, 2, and this is 8 by 3, this is minus 2 by 3, and this is 0, 0, 1, and this is 1 by 3. You calculate, and therefore I am writing all the values here in the simplex table. Simplex table 2, it is 10. It is 1 by 3, 5 by 3, 0, 1, 0, and it is minus 1 by 3. And next one, R2 dash, it is 2, 8 by 3, and minus 2 by 3, it is 0, it is 0, it is 1, and you see, and the last one is 1 by 3. So these are the values here of uh, uh, R1 dash and R2 dash. It is very simple to calculate. So, I am leaving to you. Just you calculate the simple addition and subtraction multiplication here. So, you please do it. And now, come over here. With these values, now we have to calculate again minus that. 
again minus 1. So 0 into tan 0, seemingly xp, 0 into 2, 0, 3 into 0, 0, it's again 0. It is again 0, right? And then uh, naked elevation, zj minus cz, cb yj minus cz. So what is cb? 0, 0, 3, yz, this is this one. 0 into 0, 0 into 1 by 3, 0 into 8 by 3, plus 3 into 2 by 3, 3 2 are 6, are. 3 will get cancelled, 2, 2 minus 1, it is 1. 3 into 2 by 3, 3 will get cancelled, 2 minus 1, 1. So next, first one 0, second one 0, 3 into minus 2 by 3, it is minus 2, minus 2, minus of minus of, plus 1, that is minus 1. And 3 into, this is 0, 0, 0, this is 3 by, 3 into 1 by 3, is 1. So again we have one particular negative that is uh, minus one. I am mean, indicating with the my, uh, arrow mark the corresponding vector is y2. Therefore, I write here therefore y2 enters. Therefore, y2 enters. Which vector is leaves? Is leaving. Again, you observe the values here. Minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 5 by 3. 5 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3. So therefore, two negatives are there, but even one positive is there. If all y are less than or equal to 0, either 0 or negative, then solution is unbounded. Then you can stop there, you can write unbounded solution. But here it is not the case. Here one positive is there, one y r is greater than 0, then you have to go to next step. What is next step? Consider minimum ratio. What is minimum ratio? You consider only one element, you need not to go and calculate, you can directly consider that. But even then I write the formula y r greater than 0 is equivalent to the minimum of which are the elements are there 10 divided by 5 by 3. 10 divided by 5 by 3. I write here. 10 divided by 5 by 3. Why we are not considering the minimum 2? That is 2 by minus 2 by 3, 0 by minus 2 by 3. Because there y r is not greater than 0. Here we should consider for minimum ratios for only for minimum ratios only for the values y r for which greater than 0, not less than 0 or equal to 0. 0 or negative are not to be considered here in the calculation of the minimum ratio. Remember that. Only strictly greater than 0 which means positive. Here the positive is y by 3. These two are negative. So therefore, I, I will not calculate the minimum ratio. So only one minimum ratio you need not calculate. So therefore, it is equal to be 10 by 5 by 3. That is uh, uh, 6 or something, the value here. So whatever the value you go and calculate here, you write here. And uh, now what I am doing here, I am considering the element 5 by 3. What is the element you indicate here? So therefore, if you have one element is positive, in the calculation of this, then you can consider directly that value. Directly that value. The corresponding to 5 by 3, what is the vector you have? Y4. Therefore, I am writing here, therefore, Y4 leaves. Therefore, Y4 leaves the basis. What is the pivotal element? 5 by 3. And 5 by 3 is pivotal element. Pivotal element. That's what the problem is. We have to do after simple, one, one simplex table to another simplex table. Before entering to the next simplex table, these are the points that have to be covered. Again and again, I am specifying y2 enters, minimum ratio, y4 leaves, pivotal element, and then enter into the simplex table 3. Now we are in simplex table 2. Now we have to go for simplex table 3. So I am uh, indicating uh, I do the simplex table 3. Okay? So what I want to do is simplex table 3, I, I, I do in the next part. Okay, this is what part 2. We have calculated, we have finished the simplex table 2. And we are we have to enter into the simplex table 3. We enter into the next part. We, we do in the next part. Fine? This is what we, we are doing in this particular problem. And we do the next calculation of entering the simplex table 3 in the next part. Thank you.